you want, we can start. Yes. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> Hi, I would like to welcome everyone to our third event of the series, Sanat Bizi Birleştiriyor, Art Brings Us Together of Studio B. Here we are with Faig Ahmed. I want to thank you in front of our audience once more for your presence here. To make a brief introduction of him, I want to mention his biography and successes once more. Uh, Faig Ahmed was born in Sumkayet, the third largest city of um, Azerbaijan in 1982 and graduated from the sculpture department of Azerbaijan State Academy of Fine Arts in 2004. He represented Azerbaijan at the National Inaugural Pavilion at the Venice Biennale in 2007 and participated in the Love Me, Love Me Not exhibition for the 2013 event and 11th Merksol Visual Art Biennale in 2018. Mr. Ahmed has exhibited his works worldwide, including groups and solo exhibitions in New York, Paris, London, Berlin, Moscow, Mumbai, Rome, Sydney, and Dubai. In 2013, he was nominated for the Jamel Prize at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. His works are public collections, including Los Angeles Country Museum of Art, Art Institute of Chicago, Seattle Art Museum, Palm Springs Museum of Art, Chrysler Museum of Art, Rhode Island School of Design Museum, and many others. Also, his works are recently exhibited in several museum groups, shows all over the United States, including Museum of Fine Arts Boston, Bellevue Art Museum, Washington Museum of Contemporary Art Cleveland, and many others as well. Currently, Mr. Ahmed lives in and works in Baku, Azerbaijan, and we are starting with our questions to him to elaborate on more the, his ideas and like the works at this point. Yeah, I would like to go on from this point. Uh, at the first, I want to mention if uh, our audience have a question, they can ask to uh, Ahmed Botvan Akdemir, my friend, and me, Emir Karji, directly so we can ask to Mr. Faig Ahmed. Uh, and I would like to start with our first question. Uh, I think it's a kind of classical question, but uh, I want to ask it. Uh, when we look at your education life, we see that uh, you came from an uh, academy of fine arts and uh, it may have beneficial parts or some uh, negative parts or uh, does the school gives you an uh, stereotypical uh, student uh, interpretation uh, how does this affect you? How does the uh, this educational life affect you, in your opinion? You mean uh, the the one type of uh, one type of school and what, how the my school affect to my to my art in general? Mm -hmm. You know, it's a, it's actually a good question. Like we're starting, we're all starting with education, and actually, it's uh, you know for creative people, like because you know it's it's hard to separate design, art, and um, so that's why I'm talking like in general. I'm saying art or creative or design. It's uh, it's it almost mean the same uh, same technology technology like some methodology. First of all, then creation. Like you can create whatever you want. So, but uh, the thing is, like education is uh, important in this case because uh, important and important to understand maybe that it's never it's never will finish. I understood that that. Art, I can learn art for four years, five years, or seven years. It's not possible. And especially because I was in, uh, in a kind of a traditional academy, like it was a traditional, I mean, because uh, there was sculpture, uh, painting, and uh, like graphic, and this kind of classical. I mean, the classical by the by classical art, uh, European art. I mean. mm -hmm. So <clears throat> the classical, traditional, or Whatever. So it's because it was as for, for based on Soviet school. Uh, so that's why it was a like you know that's why I call calling it a conservative school somehow. But that's give me the sense that uh, the first of all like I learned a lot. I mean I learned for example the golden line, the golden uh, the, not line, the golden uh, line or I don't know. <laughs> so um, I mean it's give me the, a lot of information about like for example that our body can be you know, uh, uh, the, the, the proportion of our bodies by, by this golden line. So this is, these things actually, the giving, the understanding of first of all, like the design and also art, because when we're creating something, we, we already can see these things. So 
This is one thing. From another thing, actually, this another thing I learned that I shouldn't take any uh, any any teacher or any anybody actually uh, as a authority authority. I don't know is it right. Mm -hmm. so, so actually, correct me if you if you think it's not right. So um, that's why I think it's, it was important. I understand you, the uh, the creative person should be free without any uh, you know you know uh, without any authority. So it's just about yourself and your manifestation, and all other is just your work somehow. Like you, I mean, if you're looking to this like this, so then you kind of. Uh, you're feeling more free, like you're not feeling that somebody there better than you or somebody uh, worse than you. I mean, in, in terms of design, so you're not judging, you're just judging yourself. So this is one of the things that maybe I learn and still learning actually, it's never, it's never mm -hmm. finished, still going. Mm -hmm. and, uh, as a part of that, I mean, when first you look up your like biography and saw that you're graduated from and like, Fine Arts Academy and somehow, as you mentioned, kind of conservative education at that point. I mean, you're kind of manipulating the some motives and like the some strict uh, background, you know, rules and like the things to follow at that point in your art. And this manipulation is kind of realized with your like background info, I believe. Is this or like you are depending on other things Better than like the just education background at that point. Yeah, so you mean the material like as a carpet. Uh, so it's it's actually <clears throat> this is the thing actually that we uh, anyway we're taking material from our surrounds like material as a mm -hmm. media. I mean like material can be conception of as material or or material as a as some uh, some part of something as a carpet. Uh, <clears throat> So yes, I think it's it's very influenced actually. Like um, you know, it's also the question of tradition because, for example, the carpets was I didn't learn to how to do carpet or I never learned. Uh, I mean, in the school, uh, uh, I never learned how to. So it it came actually traditionally, and so I think we're all understanding like what how it's influenced. I mean, uh, it's something that like it's also tradition, but it's. Um, yeah, it's it's even something more deeper. So you have to go through through it. I think, uh, and somehow, you know, we have to as a, again as a creative person. Like when I'm saying we, I'm talking about only we because I'm, I'm not talking like this with everybody. Actually, with a greater or with a other, you know, viewer because not a lot of people understand. Not a lot of I mean, like not create. Not if you're not a creative person, if you're not creating. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's very hard, I think, to understand. Um, about what I'm talking. So uh, <clears throat> after, actually, I think it's something that I understood that I have to go through my traditional uh, understanding. What, what I mean traditional, like it's culture that in what I'm living. So is there school or not? So the, the, the first culture is actually is, is uh, the first school is culture in general. So through our parents, through our family, through our uh, surrounding and then like it's all like society uh, and somehow you like as much I start to learn as much I start to understand that uh, the whole world working in this system actually everybody has their own traditional cultural aspects that they can go through like you know it can be behavior like you know like uh, the, the the relation of man or woman relation of older and younger and etc cetera, etc cetera. So the carpet was kind of for me, like actually, the carpet was a metaphor or for all this, uh, like all this, like um, concepts or construction. Maybe it's right to say mm -hmm. construction of culture. So, and through this object, we can see ourselves and how we can liberate ourselves through this. I mean, I saw myself like this, and um, so it's kind of reflecting your inner understanding of because we already like starting to feed from our childhood like who whatever we are like in whatever we culture we growing up so the culture is influencing us and creating us our thought our so this is the thing actually like i think to be an artist is to be free mm -hmm. to not be dependent so in the in, in any moment you can uh, you can change your position you can change your vision 
And that's making actually the creativity is creative because the creativity is something to look beyond or connect something very far from each other, for example. So there are different methodology that I start to reveal after actually, after, after this like liberations, if I can say it right. So I don't know, is that right? So I, sometimes I, my, my answers or our discussion can go to another thing. So just yeah. let's go. At this point, uh, actually, I want to ask an uh, other question about uh, how you see the carpet, uh, because we know that uh, the viewing and making carpet is a big culture in uh, those uh, geography. But uh, do you see yourself as a, a craftsman of the carpet or an artist which uh, implement on it? Uh, how do you feel uh, while uh, doing your uh, Works, I can say. Good question. Actually, it's is it uh, so? I think the first, like again, like the craft or art, like where the where the border. Like it's hard to <laughs> for me. It's actually hard. Like I start to learn, like start to <laughs> and like start to learn or start to understand, uh, like or start to try to understand where it, like this border grows. Like because my work was exactly between this and that. So. Um, of course, like we can, we can tell like this is craft. This is, uh, I mean, like if we're showing, for example, some video work, like uh, some artists, like I'm just like, giving some example. Uh, it's we can say like it's not craft, but at the same time, if it will be like repeated for sometimes, like or it will be, it will done for some purpose, then it will be craft somehow. So for my understanding, it craft when you, I mean, you can't uh, you can't work without craft, but any type of craft. Mm -hmm. But craft is something that you have to sit and do. But art is something that you don't know when you will find it. And it's kind of something that coming from chaos, from, from your freedom, from your, you know, uh, the moment of understanding. So it's, it's nothing about like materials, nothing about even conception. It's something that you're finding in the, in the process. So, but to, uh, to make this process, uh, to make to, this process be, let's say like this, right? Uh, you, have to, you have to do some craft. So that's why I started for my work. Uh, I understood that the, for me, it's like it's it's very obvious. I think because I understand that this is craft, the carpet. But at the same time, when I'm uh, when I'm thinking about this craft deeper, so it's it's uh, the shape is changing, like physically, also like its shapes changing, uh, the psychologically, like methodologically, also. So then I can see other crafts in the same uh, in the same let's say method, like to changing, right? So. <clears throat> I think it's, it's it, this is more important than to, you know, the message that you're sending to to, uh, to our audience or the work that you're doing, etc. So this methodology methodology is much important, I think, in this case. So that's why I'm talking about this. So um, yes, I think it's 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 uh, it's you it's hard to find this this. Um, I can say that I'm doing, uh, you know, uh, the art or craft. And actually, in Azerbaijani, they're like in the same in Turkish also. So we uh, say called sanat, but also we call uh, the art as inja sanat, like inja, like the gentle art, uh, a gentle craft, actually. Like if we're translating, so it's it's actually this is one in one point. I don't like this word, and I'm trying to take to to call artists to change this word. Like it's not right word for us now. But we're doing we don't doing sometimes ingesting some things, right? <laughs> So sometimes it's kabut, sometimes it's not, uh, you know, not something not, not, um, not. Uh, we can put it in, in this conception of understanding. So, so that's why I choose, for example, another uh, another word like azat sanat or azat. I'm sure you have mentioned that. Even so, free like free craft. Mm -hmm. Azad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I know that not it's not a common word. So, I mean, it's common, but not all the time it's using. There are another mm -hmm. be azat, right? Yeah. I'm not, um, we're all kind of familiar with the word, but this is not commonly used right now. I believe. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm asking maybe. <laughs> so, um, so that's why yes, uh, I think it's kind of we can call it uh, this. It maybe you know we, 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 the 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 question art or or craft is the question of past. So we should ask something between this now, or we should find maybe. So our maybe our generation should create mm -hmm. some new. Uh, new discipline, or we should maybe bring these disciplines together, 
So I'm sure that it's happened in all type of creativity. Like uh, mm -hmm. it's not only art, it's not only again, design, you know, even like design and, uh, and art, like couple or maybe uh, decades ago, you can say that the design is craft. The design is more about craft, the art is more about, I don't know, something else. But, but in general, like both of them now, you, like it's, it's become to some, like, I mean, our generation, like we found uh, another interesting moment of, of, of history, I think that when every, like this disciplines can, can come together and we need them bring together, like, uh, you know, the, the craft need art and art need craft. And we're understanding that it's not about like two different things, but it's about some, maybe some, uh, some new vision or new discipline. <laughs> so that's why it's still, you say like, this question is still going inside. So it's not, there are no answer, yeah. but <laughs> this is, we are answer actually. We, what we will do, <laughs> So this is uh, how we answer it, this, I think. Yeah. Also, I want to ask another thing about like the your art media. Since you're uh, using common law, no, mass-produced elements like the carpets as your art media, I mean, what is the like the key factor of your art, uh, which makes it differentiated from what we see in our houses at this point? Mm -hmm. Like it's just. A, to the visuality of that or like the, uh, what it expresses to audience or like the other um, factors of those pieces? Um, it's a very, uh, I think, complicated question. You know, I think, um, um, the, uh, yes, the art, the, the, it's again, like actually it's a related question with craft and mm -hmm. art. And the, the, what carp, how the carp. The thing is, I think now I just uh, realizing these things that uh, when you're repeating something, I mean like the art working only for one time, mm -hmm. right? So if I will do like, if, if let's imagine like we never see this carpets and somebody did that and we'll see it and it was, oh, wow, it's interesting, etc. But if we'll see another, another form of this, but mm -hmm. the, at the end it's one conception, like you can use in, I mean, or you can involve uh, in the, you know, we were calling it involved, but actually I'm calling it copy. I, myself, I mean, like it's, it's just about actually. So then it's becoming craft. So when you're doing something, maybe, um, uh, you know, it's, a, it's again, like it's not nothing bad or good. Like it's just a system is like this. So mm -hmm. if, we, um, if we're saying like, you're getting some inspiration, you're getting some, I don't know, insight, and then you're creating something and you're finding some interesting, I don't know, material, media, or conception, and you're creating, and it's appreciated by people, then it's becoming something else. Because, for example, like, as you said, like, for first time, maybe, like, maybe somebody will, somebody will put carpet like this in, in their house, they will say, no, it's not normal carpet, it's making me busy, it's making me, you know, when carpet should make me more, you know, cozy, more uh, silent, more, you know, but when uh, this carpet may be, may be making you not that comfortable in your in the space. So, um, but at the same time, when you already used to see it, and if, for example, like some collector, let's say, putting uh, this work in the, my work in the house, maybe they feel the, now they feel comfortable because in, instead, now it's instead, it's not for made for uncomfortability because they already saw it. And we're talking about only the our mind because it's not about object. Like I touched this object, I saw it in reality or so. Because it doesn't matter. Like uh, what we see, our brain processing everything, trying to process everything closer to reality and feel everything as reality. So if somebody saw it in the in the image, and if they even saw it in the real in the house, will make it more calm. You know, it's it will make it comfortable when mm -hmm. our maybe trying to make something not comfortable, like to make your a little bit shake and go out from your border and to see something out of it. So what is this? I mean, you can just do it and you just make people uncomfortable and that's all. But if you're doing it and then you're giving something, for example, how you can make your uncomfortable yourself, for example, this is also interesting yeah. uh, you know, of maybe uh, today ideas of, of design again, of, uh, of art that, um, you know, it's, it's another thing maybe, but um, yeah. So that's why I don't know, like, I, I think it's, it's uh, again, like I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very honest. So that's why I'm saying that, that 
it was only one inspiration, I think. And then after whatever happened after, like it's just about, again, it's about uh, there's something that it's, you know, it's like a flash, like it's flash. And then like all happened after this is you're just waiting when it will go down and then you just try to make another flash. Mm, um, from a point that um, you mentioned beforehand in your speech at that point, I mean, when we first time see a piece, it's kind of unique and it makes that shake the person. And when it's copied or like mass produced that piece or uh, whatever it is, it's kind of getting used to those audience. And at the point, at some point, it feel like it's not an art piece, but it's more like an accessory at that point. I mean, this is kind of a, like some type of a magic of art at that. I mean, it's also, and I mean, it's kind of, uh, somehow weird to see that the artist is kind of uh, aware of that fact. I mean, if it's kind of mass produced, the that shake will disappear at, at a point for like the, some type of like the uh, communities or like the big audiences. Mm -hmm. I mean, from that point, I want to move on another topic. I mean, when mm -hmm. we're looking at your career, it's kind of full of successes, but I mean, was there a point that you said, okay, this is the turning, of, the turning point of my career. Okay, this, now I'm kind of a different stage or like different level of this type of like the art world, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't understand uh, the question fully. <laughs> okay, uh, like was there a point that you see as the turning point of your career? I mean, okay. I mo move on to another stage, like another level at that point. Um, you know, you, 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 of course, you're feeling sometimes that something changed and this is, uh, this is now, you know, and it's not always you're going up, actually, sometimes you're going down. Uh, so that's why you, you're kind of mentioning, uh, you know, that it's kind of checkpoints, but some checkpoints, sometimes you're losing checkpoints, but you have to lose it to go again up, for example. I mean, up as a, as a, because all power inside of you, like if you have, this power, so you don't care. Like you don't think that okay, I'm doing this. For example, if you're talking about uh, the the career, I don't know. Is it? It was a question, right? Like is it like mm -hmm. a, a life career or whatever, like art career? So <clears throat> I think it's this case. You yes, you're feeling the, but it's not one moment. Like I didn't, I didn't, I don't remember. I think one moment of changing everything was changed. So it's it just work in process, and I think uh, as a somebody who making art, like, and I was happy to not mention it actually. But when you, for example, you ask me, like, I start start to think that when it was like something, and um, and it's good to not to not think about this. I think just yeah. to think about your own idea or own power and your own knowledge and uh, and the work that you're doing. You know, it's it's like a fight. Uh, somehow like if you will think uh, that I'm gonna win or how, how I'm gonna you know beat or something I don't know if you're there here <laughs> girls also, but I don't know if somebody had that I mean uh, <clears throat> if you're doing this I mean uh, you don't have to think in this moment uh, so you just you just going to the fight and you, after you're winning if you're winning like if you will think like this you will win I think uh, so uh, after you're winning, then after you can think, okay, this moment was like I did a good uh, punch, and this is what not it wasn't good, and etc. etc. But even in this moment, it's your I think it's it, it's it's your um, the weakest moment if you're thinking about uh, how far I am from the point that where I was. Yeah. It's you know it's another example like when you I don't know if somebody did climbing. To the, to the climbing uh, so you if you will look to up like if you will look down uh, sorry uh, you will you can get scary scary or even like if you are go to up like you, you will go scary and you will a little bit uh, maybe hesitate to go up upper and uh, you know do another step but if you're not thinking you're just in the moment and you're just thinking like where, what to put like how i'm going to up so then you're not doing these checkpoints which i think so that's why I don't remember because I think maybe I never mentioned this moment. Mm -hmm. But I don't know you talk about uh, also the uh, the mass product as a carpet mass product. I don't understood like what 
question about was about this. And why you mentioned that? I mean, about the mass production, it's kind of like, uh, kind of related with what you mentioned before, and actually, I mean, that shake and the getting copies and widely known type of those things about the art. And like carpet, it's like another level of that mass produced common know because like everybody has a carpet in their houses, like they're kind of grown with those and like see many others, like the many different type of carpets as well. But like the, your piece is kind of situated in a, another level of those things and like somehow shift those terms, like the carpets, those elements to art level. And that mass production question kind of related with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah now, now I fully understood your, uh, mm -hmm. your, your vision, what you're saying, uh, because yeah, right. You're right, actually. The, actually, this is the, I will say the same thing. It was my fight with tradition. Mm -hmm. and, so, and maybe it was kind of uh, also the, my own, for example, uh, the fight with this, because, you know, as a, every young person, you want to go out sometimes of rules and you don't want to, you know, um, to you know, follow the summer rules. But again, you understood, uh, I mean, I, you're understanding that without these rules, it's also will not work. So if mm -hmm. you want to break rule, you have to learn it first. Yeah. And then break it, but don't forget to break it. But this is the thing because when, after you're starting to learn, you're becoming too heavy. I say, oh no, it's okay. Now it's have to be like this, you know. So I'm talking mm -hmm. abstractly, but let's just uh, uh, keep, keep it abstractly. But you can put it in any anything what we're doing. So as much we're thinking about or following the rule, as much we're getting, you know, not heavier. I mean, like we are getting more constructive, more logical. Mm -hmm. you uh, again like we need it as a as a creative person like we need to to keep this chaotic free point that any time can flesh it's very hard. i think it's 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 not uh, even um, uh, you know healthy or it's not uh, it's not a uh, how to say that uh, it's not safety i think to do it also because it's uh, you know if you all the time in the chaotic state it's you have to you have to you need the rule to keep it <laughs> so another metaphor is like just flame in the some candle uh, not candle like what, what's called like uh, there's mm -hmm. something the flame so without this flame will will fire everything so you should you need something but you need flame there so but you need something to hold it to yeah. uh, i think it, it's working like this for me at least it's working like this and i think it's it's actually there's nothing, nothing sometimes original not sometimes, it's all the time. Actually, if you're going too deep, you're finding yourself as every other person. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to, again, look too far, you're again finding everything the same. You know, they're almost like we're all human, like we all have a DNA, we all can see, and all, like, more or less we have much more similarity with each other than, uh, than uh, like some personality. So it's personality something between this two uh, things, I think, like, if you will go too deep in, in yourself, you will find yourself as the other person. And that's why actually, that's why it's working. Because if you understand yourself, so you know that what other people need, and then you can give them whatever they need. Or you can play with the uh, play with the something that, uh, or it's not about need, actually, it's, it's also there are actually three questions, the, one of them, what what people need, and what I need, what I need. Um, so, or like starting like this, so I, I'm asking like three questions, like how, what you, what you want, uh, what you can do and what they need actually, what, what, what world need from you. So uh, not from me, like from me exactly, but from what, what, what in general the world needs. So what, what the needs right now, what the question, like where the, where, uh, where the, like the, the, let's say like this hot question inside of the society. So, mm -hmm. and you went there. And, but you're going there with something that you can do. And if you want to, like, so that's why like what I can do, what I want to do, like what I want to, what I can do and what, what, uh, what they need. So mm -hmm. basing, basing on this, maybe three things, then you always will be in some uh, kind of uh, success, I think. Uh, um, from uh, now on, I would like to ask a question about uh, uh metaphor you gave about the fire and the cup maybe in uh, it's it's been doing uh, sometimes you say the flame can took all over the place and sometimes it uh, may become uh, much uh, less than needed 
can you see this uh, process as a journey also with uh, what you said uh, before you finished uh, like uh, giving what uh, what i want what uh, the world need and the uh, process the, did you see this uh, as a journey uh, so first, yeah i mean journey as a journey to to to, to make it bigger or smaller or or what what is journey in general yes it's it's all journey like our life is journey <laughs> we have only one life i mean maybe some beliefs that they're karma and uh, and their mini lives and etc. But we at least we know that they're one life. So that's why it's whatever we're choosing, it's journey. And um, yes. Oh, okay, thank you for your answer. Uh, also, I'd like to ask some questions from our audience. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, there is a question I would like to find because there are a lot of questions. Thank you for your attention. Uh, uh, one of our uh, and ask about uh, do you want to uh, stay in Baku or do you want to live uh, and uh, become a global person? Uh, would you like to change your country or uh, I, I do not want to ask in an uh, unkind way. I uh, just want to ask, uh, do you think that uh, when you are in different country, you can uh, uh, more potentials or more the needs you can get from there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, it's good. Very good question, I think. And um, uh, the first, I'm, I'm not in Baku right now, so I'm, I'm near Baku. It's uh, the place called Mofkhame. Uh, uh, so it's it's a country house, and I'm living in country house, so which is nicer. <laughs> so I don't I don't I don't much like a city in general, you know, because I travel to different cities many times. When I see uh, the same thing all the, every time, so it's making me you know boring. So that's why I don't want to. Cities is not any, uh, interesting anymore, I think. Um, uh, so that's why I'm actually in, in Azerbaijan because, uh, because, because I love my country. I love this culture, like whatever, like minus and plus we can find there, any culture can find it. And if you talk about opportunity, so I always used to live here and always had any other opportunity all over the world actually. And I even had the opportunity to live somewhere. In the United States, for example, there was some, um, so, you know, I'm talking very like uh, honestly with you. So that's what I'm saying, um, <laughs> personal stories. I, I had some uh, even uh, like inviting from some from states and from other like places, but state was one of the interesting inviting. So that that will, you know, that will like, it was like a couple of years, not a couple, like maybe five or 10 years ago when uh, when I had this opportunity to live there. But then I thought like, if I will go there, then I will change, then I will become a American, but let's say, right? So maybe I will lose this Azerbaijanity and which which making actually us, uh, me, for example, in and at least me in, in this art world unique. So if I will lose this, then why I need, uh, why they need me when they, this global society needs. So that's why it's like two things, like global and, and local. And I think, again, like as a, as a creative person, as me, like I to choose this word, uh, this thing that uh, I should be in the, I should understand the local, uh, uh, not mentality, like men, uh, the local logic, which is like, I'm not, talking, I'm not talking about only Azerbaijan, like in general, like different place in the world, they have their own local logic. But then there also exists the, the global logic, which is which exists now. So because of internet, because of language, English, for example. So that's why we can be connected with through this global logic too. So, but when you're using this, and you know, uh, there of course uh, you know uh, this word like think uh, think globally, act locally. So it's been created by Westerns when they it's it's actually talk about me, for example, that okay, you're living in some small country and. Uh, try to understand how global work, uh, world work and just bring it to your society, to your local uh, society or your local you know, place, let's say, where, wherever you're living. And uh, you know, for me, it was like, it wasn't that good idea because then I actually, that, then I understood that my work somehow, they talk about instead, they think globally and uh, act locally. So that sometimes the local ideas or local you know, when I'm saying local, I mean like very small understandings that we maybe 
uh, we can understand and some part of the world, for example, not understanding. I, I mean, when I'm even talking local, I'm saying, oh, for example, like uh, the, it's not about amount, it's about also the, the quantity. Like for example, the Chinese local idea can be spread in global world, for example. And that will be interesting, much interesting than, for example, the American philosopher. But like they say, like Chinese philosopher for me is more interesting than American philosopher in some way. Or uh, American programmer is more interesting than Chinese, for example. I mean, I'm just talking about China and America, but in general, I'm just talking it as a, again a global and because America also has their own local uh, interesting moments. Like uh, you know, I travel in United States in some places, so they have also the something that's that is still so that's why i think it's important to to me for to be here and also it's it's also the question of the body because where we used to grow up so it's better to stay there or at least around uh, and the food that we're eating actually the, all our ancestors eat this food and it's tasty and you, yeah, this, that was actually like very personal thing that i didn't like food anywhere <laughs> And especially products, you know, like it's not tasty. Uh, it's very like rare where you can find the tasty uh, food actually in the world. So, and wherever you find it, it's like, or it should be like uh, the place looks like Azerbaijan or or then if you're going to big city to live, I don't know, to New York or whatever place, I think it's not healthy. Uh, so, you know, it was like, like personal thing that like, you know, like just the body, where should body should be? The body should feel good, actually. Whatever, whatever you're doing, it is the first. I think what the first thing. Um, so that's why. Also, uh, I want to create a connection uh, from what you say and uh, from now and what you say at the first about our title. The art. Uh, brings us together and uh, uh, also it uh, comes with the its individual individuality kind of uh, so you can say that the uh, thinking globally and acting locally uh, locally can uh, create this indi individuality in art or it can uh, affect that mm. uh, in to, i think today is becoming more more important because the everybody understand global world and everybody influenced to this global world it's not uh, it's not um, belong to anybody so that's that's interesting one personal thing uh, or local thing uh, so now understand what we're talking about so the local thing is more uh, becoming more treasure like more interesting and it's belonged to for example you like if i'm talking about carpet and azerbaijan so mm -hmm. i'm kind of representer of this local uh, right. logic or like a rule or whatever like carpet like Right, so, uh, so that's why it's making you kind of own something, you know, the own not in the meaning of own, but own as a just to talk to make a dialogue. So, but if you like uh, hundred percent giving you, you know, actually I start like this. Yeah, you know, this is the thing. Let me just change my position. Sorry. Actually, I start with uh, as an artist. I start to like, you know, literally copying. Uh, the, the European, not the European, it's Western, uh, like contemporary art. Not copying as a, like, you know, directly copying, but uh, the copying as an idea, like, you know, video, like try to make a lot of video, like some, um, I don't know, you know what I mean? It's like the conceptions and cetera, you should put this and you're looking to this European. So then I understood that it's not, it's not about me. I don't, I mean, I understood, I understand that and, um, but um, but the thing is, like, I will always lose if I will try to play this role. So, but then uh, you bring when you bring your own role, then you're starting to, you know, you you're starting to, and because nobody can play this role, so you know this role and you know how to play it. But you have to bring it to the to this global world and make it more. So that's why you need some connector. So I mean, connector as an idea. So you're taking something local and you, you have global and uh, you're finding this uh, linking. So what can be linked? And it's not about even you. And it's, it's maybe about like how you can, uh, again, like you, how you can uh, hear the answers in this global world, like what they need. And then you're bringing something that you have. And you, so you have to see at the same time this local 
you know, strange local ideas, which you th maybe many things that, oh, we should maybe change. Because I also think, thought like, uh, like, you know, tradition is, should change, you know, we should be more uh, the Azerbaijanis and just myself and even my family, we should be more, um, you know, more, um, uh, you know, more uh, modern and uh, should forget some traditional things and the mentality and etc. But then I understood that now I understood that it's not like this. It's instead, this is treasure. So this is something that, uh, you know, because we need another transformation too. So we bringing from global world to our local, there's something that also changed this world too. So, I mean, like, again, if we're taking uh, the, the, the carpet is good metaphor actually for this, because the carpet is can be interesting uh, for example, like in, if we talk about Myra, it can be interesting to some, um, to some, for example, European, uh, 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 you know, um, uh, uh, what's called observers, but also to somebody who understand who understand carpets. Like again, like okay, if I will talk about Azerbaijan, it's not only Azerbaijan, but in general, if you talk about Azerbaijan, so the Azerbaijan carpet maker also will see this work, which like with with the, let's say local logic, and they will also think that oh. This is something that I can, for example, I can use in my, in my again logic or whatever. So it's working both sides. It should work in the both sides, like in global and local. So um, and because we're living in this world, like before, maybe like, like some some centuries ago, there wasn't a question like this. It wasn't this question. We, we, they didn't have this question. So today we have this question: the global, local. Like you should you should live somewhere, or you should live in your own state, or whatever. Like this is the. So now we have this question and now we we creating this uh, new connections. And this connection happened between this local and global. And it's not all, always like, you know, I just want to take whatever local I have and should uh, just give it to the global world. No, it's kind of a, you know, we should also, we should also bring to, uh, we should connect actually. It's just about connection. You just creating kind of a tube that can connect this and that and then it's working like you know whatever local need they can take whatever global need they can take sorry i'm so it's sometimes <laughs> i mean what you said was very valuable because like the especially art and like the crafts somehow like transmitting this type of like local values like the traditional values or cultural values to global world but also somehow like protecting them to be like harmed or forgotten or something like that at that point art is a like great type of a transmitter for this type of cultural values and so forth and, i mean um i will ask um i will ask a question related with like the, your interpretation of art like the cultural values and so forth because you are some type of like interpreting the traditional values in carpus or like the other cultural values and making them be understood globally or like commonly and so forth. What, what is like the key process of doing this? Uh, <clears throat> there are a lot of key processes. <laughs> so, um, the, uh, so there is some methodology, I think, um, um, and I'm trying also to find this uh, way how to how to to find this you know connection how to find this uh, how to hear this question because there are a lot of questions in the world like what question is more important what question is more so first of all I think it's it's important to understand what happened consciously and unconsciously because the 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 something that we need is un, it's 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 an in unconscious. Also in our unconscious, if we're finding this, then we can read the other unconscious, uh, you know what I mean, right? So if we're going to, so we are now in, in conscious, like we understand everything, everything in the logic. But as we're going to our, like, let's say state of, uh, is if somebody meditate or they understood what I'm saying. So we're going to deep inside of us. Like, it's almost like, a, it's like a dream, like you who, Rhea, Rhea, Kim Bishida. And I could, we should create it, uh, we should not create, sorry, uh, we, should, uh, we should go inside of this state and then we should ask ourselves what's going on inside of us. So whatever answer, whatever question, like it's going deep, we, get, we should go deeper and deeper. As deeper we will go, as much, we, as much wider we will understand 
like society. And it's not lo only local society, like as much we going inside of it because all people again, like at, at, the, at the end is uh, has the same code, the same, well, this is the key actually, one of the keys that we have the same connection with our same code with all other people. If we'll find our own code, then we can, we can read other codes too easily. Not easily, I mean, like everything, it's like you need, of course, some energy uh, <clears throat> and work, but in general, we can understand, I think, in uh, these processes. So, um, so actually, because I'm doing the same thing right now, like, uh, so I'm re-asking questions. So I ask one question, maybe answer my, my position. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, con continue doing it, uh, the, defining these main questions. Um, so also there are another <clears throat> methods again, like to working with yourself, like as again, the meditation is important, I think, for a creative person. Uh, it's not, it's not absolutely with a, nothing to do with the mystics, nothing to do with religion. Meditation is just, uh, let's say the natural state of our mind. And we can be, what, what, what is like, if I will tell, like maybe in a very short, uh, explanation maybe if if, uh, if it will be right that um <clears throat> the the meditation is controlling dreams so maybe some know what it is maybe some wake up sometimes in the dreams they know they know what what i'm talking about but if you will wake up in this in this state in this unconscious because for example again like we are unconscious where we have uh, we can we can remember everything we can and we can understand each other and we understand every words we can understand what's going on inside but at the same time we don't know everything at the at the same t uh, at the one moment so we don't know everything what we have inside of us at the one moment right so all knowledge is kind of split uh, not split it's it's kind of a um, uh, so we concentrate in certain knowledge what we have. So the thing is like, if we will deconcentrate of our, in the knowledge that we have, I mean, knowledge of everything as a, as a human being, like everything around. So we can, then we can kind of uh, find uh, uh, ourselves. sorry. Um, I just want to help you. Please yeah, yeah, move yeah. On. I'm sorry. No, 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 so, wait, wait, I didn't hear what did you say. Uh, I just said hidden, maybe hidden knowledge hidden. or hidden. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, the hits can be oh, exactly. You know, we can say hidden, but at the same time, for example, like we can remember whatever time, like if I will ask mm -hmm. uh, something like what was like five years ago, whatever, like you can tell me something. Right now, it wasn't be, it was hidden, but at the same time, it's mm -hmm. something that can be revealed at the, so it's unconscious, what, what called again, it's, and it's influenced to us all the time. So, in somehow, it's also related with our body. And it's another thing, actually, that we, uh, I think, as a, Again, like somebody who creating a new discipline, I think we should uh, we should consider our body also all the time. So, or our body uh, signals, you know, the emotions, and um, like whatever our body have, like we have to consider it too. Our biological state, because when we consider this, we understanding that other people has the same uh, the same condition. And uh, if that influenced to me like this, then other people will influence the, this in the same way or this or that way. So, and you're trying to make yourself, not all the time, of course, but uh, most of the time, more uh, unpersonalized. So more as a, you know, I'm calling it like you, you bringing more and more uh, observer inside of you, which making you wider and then you can, so I jump in that, another. <laughs> I need to ask actually the another the, the, I'm talking about like uh, I'm trying to be more uh, so it's hard to actually to to talk about all um, the whole process, but it's one of the idea is like this. So you should just try to uh, I mean you have to go inside of you, finding yourself, and then understanding that you are the same as all the other people, and you can easily understand what other people mean. I mean, again, like in everything, then we're asking actually, then we're asking, okay, what, what, for example, like if you're talking about design, like what new design should be? Like even like, you know, design of table or design of chair, like even it can be something functional question actually. And, uh, and whatever we're asking, we should go to inside and see there, just put it inside of this 
state. And then there we can, again, we, we should have another people inside of us. That they should be like, uh, uh, they should talk with us. Like they should, uh, this should be in the dialogue that we can hear them inside of us. But not, not please, not don't make yourself psychophane and don't think that it's very close. Actually, it's very close. Uh, I'm sure that it's it's something you know. I, I feel that's why I'm saying that it's not safe to be uh, to make this kind of you know uh, things like to. But again, like if it's not safe, it means there's something. There's power. If something we're, we're afraid or something that make us you know uh, something can scare us, so it means there's some hidden power. So there's something behind of it so it's mean like we should we should cross it and um yes i think it's one of the methodology is like this thank you for your answer <laughs> thank you for help i like when mm -hmm. we have a dialogue and because again like we again you see that we we have uh, when people connect with each other we're not personal anymore we now we are mm -hmm. like all connected. we are like a, we're a global person even to somebody who I don't see, like all the people, because again, like we were born like as a social animals. So that's why I'm saying like we should consider all the time our uh, biological state, not only the, our culture, because most of the time we're talking about culture, what art is important, society, uh, the, I don't know, like a question of policy or like political question and et cetera, et cetera, social question. But when we're thinking about as an animal, this is another thing. And you can also, you can, you can use this, not use, like use it, I mean, for, first of all, to yourself. And then you can, understanding that how the other people also can, uh, can react and can react. And also they, they as, as animal, to, to this or that, like, even if it's like super clever, super conceptual, conceptual thing, at the end, we have just the body who react, right? So. Uh, but what, what happened inside that's another question so this is what only we can know inside of us so okay let's speak and then more we'll, <laughs> and more we'll go to deeper to this uh actually i'd like to speak more but uh, i think we have a time problem uh, okay we, we are almost uh, finished so uh, i want to thank you uh, for a uh, all your experience and uh, also the uh, way you try to enlighten us with your ideas. Thank you very much. Uh, I also want to thank my friend Batuan um, and uh, thank you to all the uh, audience that come uh, to listen to us. Thank you very much. <laughs>